Yeah, all right, guys, welcome back. LUFC Lazio here, yes, title domination episode 7. I think it's 7. I think it's, I don't know. I don't know, mate. I'm confused here, just as much as you are. Uh, it's been, this is going to be quite a quiet start of the season, to be honest with you. I mean, not much has happened with the club. So I'm just going to go straight into it now, and uh, I will show you the transfers. As you can see there, only four, which is really quite a transfer window for me. I mean, usually I do have a lot of players going out, and then I bring maybe one or two in. As you can see, I've only brought one in this time. Um, Abu Dhabi went. He didn't really want to stay with me. I mean, he was in the team. He playing. He wasn't. He wasn't playing regularly, but he was playing. He was part of the rotation, which I thought he was happy with. I mean, he's he's not the best at players compared to the people I brought in. So for him to want to go was a shock. But yeah, I mean, at least I got rid of him. Um, Alex Smithies is a goalkeeper you probably all know all about because he does come really good in the game and uh, he always ends up playing for England at least on my games he does so for 5 million I thought that was a good investment considering he's still quite young and hopefully him and De Stegen will be ok I mean at the moment De Stegen is injured so he hasn't really played that many games but hopefully he'll be back he'll get in there I'm trying to sell Chesney but not many people want him I don't know why because he actually has been he was better than De Stegen at the end of last season and he's just he is a really really good goalkeeper so hopefully January people will come in for him because he's a good player but he's not really in part of my plans anymore to be honest with you at least at this club he's not um, Vito Manoni was a keeper who went out he didn't really play for us and we played against Blackburn and he had a rating of 10 he was an absolute demon against us which I think was just the game's way of telling me that I fucked up but you know it's fine it's fine but yeah he was an absolute animal in that game so <laughs> I can't really complain and uh, Ryo Miyashi, Miyashi, I don't know how to say his name, on loan at Blackburn again, um, he wants to leave but uh, no one will put a bid in for him, I mean, the last bid we got was the one that uh, broke down just before the end of the season, like just before the end of the transfer window, sorry, so I couldn't get him unfortunately, but who knows, if he gets a good performance here maybe Blackburn will sign him. Uh, fixtures now, as you can see we have played two finals already. Um, the friendlies are pretty standard, I mean, they're not exactly both. Gillingham and Portsmouth aren't exactly teams that should be um, troubling us, so we dispose of them quite easily. Uh, we had City again in the Community Shield, as you can see, and unfortunately we lost 2-0. Uh, I'll bring you more on that game in a bit. But uh, again, I want to point out that at home, we are looking way more like dominant than we are away. Uh, as you can see, we lost 1-0 to Blackburn away, but that's because Monone had a brilliant game, and just because we didn't look at all like we play at home, I mean, okay, Derby and QPR are not the best of teams, but we we didn't we we fucking dominated them all over. I mean, they could, they had no competition against us. I mean, they had like two attacks. They had some stupid like two shots, one on target the whole game like, for both of them. It was ridiculous. But and at Blackburn, we did struggle. Well, not, I don't know. It's not that we struggled. We just couldn't get in the back of the net. We had loads of shots, but we just could not finish. Which I think might just be since the start of the season, but. We don't struggle to score goals, which we know that, so that's okay. And uh, the Euro Super Cup, which I'll also be bringing you in a minute, uh, one 0 against Chelsea. So as you can see, it was an all English affair. I think it was the last last season as well. Um, I think it was. But anyway, take the Trinity Shield right now. As you can see, lost two 0 <laughs> We're never really in this one. I mean, as you can see, the 35th minute penalty, which we give away stupidly, and then. Two rage kind of closed off. I mean, after that 50 second minute, there was no chance we were ever getting back into it. I mean, I put Van Persie on. I tried, I tried my hardest to get um, just a goal to make it seem as though we were going for it, but it just never happened. So I kind of had to take that one on the chin. <laughs> uh, we did win it last season, so I suppose at least we've got one of them. But it would be nice to win another trophy. Um, but yeah, now I'll take you the big one, which is the Euro Super Cup. As you can see, 30th penalty from uh, RVP, 1-0. Um, yeah, it was a really, really close game. I mean, considering last season we did beat them 4-1, wasn't it, at the end of the season. Uh, it was a close game, and it was actually nice to see that we were struggling. I mean, although it was going to get beat by City, it was nice to get beaten. I mean, I was sick of, I'm sick of going into finals and like thinking I'm going to lose and then just destroying the opposition. It's like, you know what I mean? It's like a bit weird. Especially Marseille, because I thought I think Marseille would beat us, but they didn't. We win 2-0, so... It's nice, it's nice to win a cup. I mean, we always... 
do well in the cups. I mean, yeah, we actually do do well in the cups that we've only played once. I mean, we struggled against Sunderland in the last uh, League Cup, so maybe it's just our first appearance in the cup we win. Uh, I'm not really going to complain about that one, but yeah, as you can see now, there is the news feed. Arsenal win the Euro Super Cup, and that's another one to add to the collection. I mean. I am going to stay, as you can see now, I'm, I'm now a continental reputation, which is really, really good. Um, I want, uh, as you see, yeah, but it's just, just so you know when you're looking, club pair loyal because I was applying to go to uh, Spain, so you know, but I didn't get the job, so it doesn't matter. Um, blah, 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 I'm, lost. Right, I'm staying here until the end of the season, and then I'll probably leave, I mean, depends. I think this is the best opportunity I've got to win the Champions League just because I have had a lot, a lot of time to build this, the squad, and it's, it's my, I, f I think it's my team. Like it feels more like my team than it does anyone else's. Like I have still got players from the winger era, but I've brought in my own guys and they fit well in the team and they start ahead of their teams, like winger players. So I'm happy with it. I mean, I think this season we can, we can easily, easily win the Champions League, cause. We aren't exactly a small club, which is a good. It's a good feeling, but um, we'll see. I mean, it's 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 going to be difficult, but I reckon we could probably get through it and we we'll pay off this. I mean, there's no reason why we can't win the Premiership again. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I mean, the next update will be the mid-season update. I'm hoping to bring you some good news and say how we're doing in the Champions League groups. Uh, I think we got quite an easy group. We should be able to just get through it. So yeah, should be a good, a good update, lads. I'll see you all later. Uh, comment. I will reply. I've got FIFA 13 videos on my channel, so head over there and have a watch. And I'll see you all later. Thanks for watching.